Are you in the club? Hey guys, welcome back to DCTC. In today's episode, I'm going to show you how to turn one of these into this. Sadness has a light blue face, so the first thing that I need to do is mix some dark blue and white Play-Doh together to make some light blue Play-Doh. After you get the colors mixed together just the way you want it, you're going to flatten it out and press it all over the front of the egg. If you're making a surprise egg like I am, make sure that you fill it first. <laughs> you want to get the Play-Doh on it and then find out that you have to undo all of your work to add your surprise toy. Next, we are going to use the extruder to make her hair. Just kind of separate that and then we're going to cut it in half. And we might need more. We'll just have to see how it goes. Okay, so she wears her hair parted on the side, kind of like this. We're definitely going to need to make more. And we'll get some more Play-Doh to load up the extruder. And then we're just going to do the same thing. We're going to place that all around her head. And if we only put hair on the front, she will get very front heavy and fall over. So you want to make sure that you put hair on the back as well. After you get her hair the way you want it, you can start working on her face. So I'm going to do her eyes, nose, and mouth, and then her glasses. For her eyebrows, you're just going to take two little pieces of blue Play-Doh and kind of press them in above her eyes like that. And you can just shape them with your fingers. Okay, so we're still working on her eyes. For this next part, I'm going to mix some dark blue and black together, and this will be for the inner part of her eyes, her pupils. Maybe a little more blue. <laughs> those were really dark. And you just place those right in the center of the blue. And then to finish her eyes, you just take two tiny, teeny, teeny, tiny dots of white Play-Doh. Okay, so now we're ready to do her nose, mouth, and then her glasses. Sadness has a teeny tiny little nose. So I'm using the same color blue that I used for her face and just rolling it into a tiny little ball like that. And for her, for her mouth, <laughs> it's just a sad little pout. So I'm just gonna take a little Play-Doh tool. You could do, you could use anything to do this. And then there's kind of draw in a little frown. Aw, that's sad. Just like that. And now we are ready for her glasses. Sadness wears glasses that are kind of a dark purple. So I'm trying to achieve that same color by mixing together purple, blue, and black. Okay, I think I got the color just about perfect. I had to add a little bit of white to lighten it up. So I'm gonna roll it out and we'll make some glasses. Sadness wears huge glasses, so these are gonna be pretty big. <laughs> Hopefully I can get them just right. I don't know, those might not be big enough. No, I think we're gonna have to make them bigger. These are big enough, but her eyes are too close together. So we'll have to move her eyes over a little bit. Okay, here she is. So what I ended up doing is moving her eyes over a little bit and then very gently, oh, some of her hair fell off. <laughs> then I very gently pressed her glasses down and made a little piece in the middle. So there is our sadness. 
So something didn't look right about sadness, and then I realized that what happened was after I put on her glasses, her eyes were too big. So I'm going to redo her eyes and make them much smaller. I think that looks better. Oh, <laughs> that just went rolling right off. Oh, so did that one. Okay, so they were a little dried out, so I had to make some fresh ones. And I also made Sadness's nose a little bit smaller. So I think that looks a lot better. Hey guys, welcome back to DCTC. This is Amy Jo. Do you guys know who this is? This is Anger from Inside Out. And we are going to turn this surprise egg into Anger. And we're going to do that using one of my favorite things in the whole world, Play-Doh. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna roll out some red Play-Doh and then I'm going to wrap that around plastic egg. Let's start with his eyes. He's not really looking like anger yet, is he? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I want to show you one thing that I did. I pressed these down and then I took this little Play-Doh tool and pressed a little line right there. I thought that that would maybe make him look like he's scowling a little bit. So now I'm going to get some black Play-Doh and we'll do the pupils and then we'll work on his mouth. His mouth makes him look really angry. So now I'm gonna roll out some white Play-Doh and try to cut out a mouth that looks like that. If you can't cut it exactly the way you want it, you can use your fingers to shape it the way you want it. And that's what I'm going to do. That was a little tricky <laughs> to cut that. Pretty close. I made a couple of small changes. I took the white off and I cut it and made it more narrow. And then I tried to make this a little shorter. So now I'm just trying to shape that a little bit. Okay, I think I have it how I want it. So now I need to make that little line in it. That will be really easy. I'm just gonna roll some black Play-Doh between my fingers and let's see. I think that's about the right size. Oops. Now the fun part. So this little guy doesn't have the flames, but our little guy is going to. And to make the flames, we're gonna just mix together some orange and red Play-Doh. And I don't wanna mix it up too much because I want it to look like streaks. We're gonna roll that out and cut out some shapes for the top of Anger's head. Now we just place them all over the top of our egg. We'll put that little one right in the middle. <laughs> it kind of looks like a crown. <laughs> I don't know if our anger really looks all that angry. <laughs> I'm not sure what we could do to make him look more mad. Maybe his eyes could be at more of an angle. Let's try that. That's a little better. So now I'm just gonna press the Play-Doh flames down and make some little dents in the Play-Doh. Like he's scowling at us because he's so angry. <laughs> okay, now I wanna show you the last thing I did. So when I repositioned his eyes, I took this little tool and pressed the flames down so that they bumped right up against his eyes. And there is our Play-Doh Anger Surprise Egg. Hey guys, did you guys see the videos where I use some Play-Doh to turn surprise eggs into sadness and anger from Disney's Inside Out? If not, you should go to our channel page and check them out. And today we're going to be making Disgust. To make disgust, we need a surprise egg and something to put on the inside. 
And we need, let's see, one, two different shades of green, some black, white, and hot pink Play-Doh. Whoops, <laughs> she doesn't stand up very well anyway. <laughs> the first thing that we're going to do is wrap our egg with this light green colored Play-Doh. Next, we'll make Disgust eyes, nose, and mouth. Or we may leave her nose for last, but we're gonna do her eyes and her mouth now. I was thinking about doing her hair, but I think I'll squish it <laughs> while I'm doing her face. So I'm gonna do her face next. First, we'll roll out some white Play-Doh. <laughs> that looks creepy, doesn't it? But we're not done. We're not even close to done. I'm doing the same thing with the light green that I did with the white. And this is going to form her eyelid. Next, we're going to use some black to make her pupils and her eyelashes. And I think we're going to try to outline her eyes as well. I rolled out a really, really thin piece of Play-Doh, of black Play-Doh, whoops. And now I'm going to try to frame her eye with it. This is really hard. If you get it too thin, it breaks, and too thick, and it just looks really weird. After you get the eyes done, you're just going to make a little green nose and her nose is kind of the shape of a triangle and it kind of pokes up a little bit. Sort of like that. And now we're just going to use a little bit of this purpley pink Play-Doh to make her mouth. Her mouth's pretty easy. <laughs> it's just like an upside down V. Okay, now we can do her hair. And for that, we're going to use the extruder. After you have all of the Play-Doh hair that you need, you just place it all around <laughs> the egg. Okay, so let's put a big clump over here. Let's see, let's take another look at her really quickly. Disgust has some short hair in the front, so we wanna put the longer pieces towards the back and the shorter pieces in the front. Oh, that one's curling. <laughs> Let's see how we're doing. Getting close. One thing that you'll need to do is you need to have kind of a line right there to make it look like her hair is parted. So you can just press that down with anything that you have at home. You could use a little plastic knife or a butter knife, something that's not sharp. And then she also has her hair kind of turns up on the ends. So you want to gently hold her and press the Play-Doh up to make it look like it's curled. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Her eyes are a little crazy, but what do you guys think? You'll have to leave me a comment and tell me if you think I got close with her. I don't know if she looks like disgust or not. Okay, so that's what she looks like. I pressed down that little part and I think... I'm gonna say that I'm done. I don't know what else I could do to her. I could probably maybe work on thinning out the black around her eyes, but that's really hard to do. I think she's pretty close. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm gonna show you how to use some Play-Doh to turn a surprise egg into Joy from Disney's Inside Out. The first thing that you need to do is cover your egg with some light yellow Play-Doh. Don't forget to put a surprise in your plastic egg. And now we'll use some white and blue Play-Doh to make Joy's eyes. Joy has really big eyes, so we're gonna make her some really big eyes. <laughs> okay, here we go. 
One thing that I noticed about Joy in pretty much every picture that I saw of her is that the bottom of her eyes is kind of cut off. So let's take our little Play-Doh tool and cut off just a tiny little bit of the white. Next, we'll use some blue Play-Doh. Still working on her eyes. One thing that I noticed about Joy's eyes is that they are outlined. So I just rolled out some blue Play-Doh and whoa! <laughs> going to just run that around the outside of the eye. Next we'll use a little bit of black and a teeny tiny bit of white to finish her eyes. Okay, so here, <laughs> here's how my joy eyes turned out. So I don't know how they'll look when everything is finished. So I'm just gonna keep going. I think this is pretty close. And next we're gonna do her nose and mouth. I feel like Joy's mouth is gonna be kind of tricky. So I'm going to make a big dent in the Play-Doh of a smile because Joy is very happy. And so she's frequently <laughs> smiling or laughing. And then I'm gonna roll out some pink Play-Doh and place it in the dent. So it looks like it has a little bit of dimension and hopefully that will work. Kind of look, <laughs> it looks like emoji right now. <laughs> ah. I think once we do her hair, she's gonna look really good. The pink Play-Doh will be her lips and I might try to put a little bit of white Play-Doh in between them to look like teeth. Now I'm just going to take the teeniest little bit of white and press it right up under her top lip. And this might look good or it might look really weird. <laughs> we'll find out in a second. I think I like it. Okay, now I've just made a little ball out of, out of yellow Play-Doh <laughs> and we'll place it right there for her nose. She has a teeny tiny little nose. Once you have her nose finished, it's time for what I think will be the most fun, and that is going to be making her crazy hair. <laughs> I've been using my regular Play-Doh extruder to make the hair for these, but I'm gonna use a different one this time. So I wanna make sure that I get the front of it just right. So let's start right here. So we know that one's gonna to be too long. Okay, here's what I have so far. So I've just been pressing the blue down to make sure it sticks. And now we have to work on that crazy point right there. <laughs> Let's see, how can we do that? It's like a bunch of different peaks of hair. So it needs to be kind of pointy. That looks pretty good. <laughs> And the last thing, this is what I did. I took my little Play-Doh tool and just made little lines and texture all over the top of Joy's head. So I think it actually looks pretty good. I don't know about her eyes, <laughs> but we got her hair right. This is Fear from the movie Inside Out. And today I'm gonna show you how to use Play-Doh to turn this plastic egg that I've hidden a surprise in, into fear. We're gonna start by covering our egg with light purple Play-Doh. Once you get all of the Play-Doh pressed down around the egg, you can kind of smooth it out. 
And then I've already started on his nose, but it was so easy. I just took the rest of my purple Play-Doh and rolled it into kind of an oblong shape. See what his nose looks like? I think fear is actually gonna be pretty easy to make. He is the last one I've, that I've made. I have already made everyone else. Sadness, disgust, anger, <laughs> joy, and now fear. Okay, so let's put his nose on. Actually, I might wonder if I should do that last because that could just fall right off, but well, we can give it a try. And we're gonna give him some really big eyes right here. And then see how his expression, it looks like he's afraid. I'll just use a Play-Doh tool, a little knife, kind of like a knife that I use to make a little frown. Let's use white next to make his eyes. Gonna press out some white Play-Doh and use a pretty big round little cookie cutter to make two white eyes like that. I don't know if I need to make his nose a little longer. Let's see, we can adjust that later. To make Fierce pupils, I'm going to use some dark purple Play-Doh that I mixed up. I mixed up actually purple and black and a little bit of white. And for this one, I did purple and white and a little bit of blue. Next, we're going to work on the eyebrows. And I think I'm just gonna try to cut them out. I don't really know if this is the best way to do this. See, the edges don't look that good, so I'll probably just try to do it with my finger by rolling it between my thumb and finger, and then, actually, we're gonna need more Play-Doh than that because his eyes are huge. Okay, now we need one more. So you see how it's more narrow on the outer end? So I'm trying to make one that matches the other side. That's always the tricky part. <laughs> you can make one and you're like, oh, that looks pretty good. But then you try to make the second one look just like the first one and that's where it gets a little tough. It doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, to finish his eyes, we need to take a tiny little piece of Play-Doh, of white Play-Doh, and press it right into the corner like that. Do one on each eye. All right, so now we have his nose, his eyes, and I'm going to show you what I did for his mouth. So I just took the same color that I used for the eyebrows and pupils, rolled it out into a little um, tube of Play-Doh, and now I'm going to shape it into his worried little expression, his little mouth where he looks <laughs> he looks very worried, doesn't he? Aww. I'm trying not to make him look like it's a big frown, like he's sad. There. Okay, so gosh, he's almost done already. He does have, he has some little lines, but that's really more of a dimension thing than, you know, like a facial feature. I could try to do that to make that little line to make him look more like this character, but I don't know if that's a good idea or not. <laughs> it kind of goes right along with his mouth. What I decided to do is I made the little line and then I kind of pressed back over it. So it's there, but it's very faint. And I think fear is just about finished. We just have to figure out how to do this thing. Kind of looks like a question mark. <laughs> so I think I'll put that right on the top of his head. And I'm just gonna use the same color that I used for his mouth, eyebrows, and pupils to do that. I don't know how well this will stay because Play-Doh is so flexible and pliable that it will probably just tip over, but we can give it a try. All right, now we have to figure out how to attach it. I think I'm just gonna press it down in the light purple Play-Doh. Uh-oh, it's already tipping over. 
there! <laughs> we got it! Okay, guys, that's it for Fear, the easiest character by far to make. <laughs> At least for me. So now, you know what? If you want me to open all of the inside out characters that I made, you can let me know by clicking on the thumbs up button, okay? And I'll open them. And leave me a comment and tell me which one was your favorite. You guys should go and check them all out. Okay, this is Amy Jo with DCTC. Thanks for watching. Another video, that's the end. Come back soon or we'll miss you, friend. DCTC. We do toy reviews. DCTC. And we play with Play-Doh, too. Skits, pranks, eggs and toys. We make videos for girls and boys. Uh-huh, uh-huh, that's right. <laughs>